Hello Internet, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to be inspecting the Everton squads, finances and overall setup. If this is your first time here, you might want to hit that subscribe button. I'll keep you bang up to date with all my FM related content going forward. Now, yep, a joke's a joke. I'm sure you're probably sick and tired of it. Um, but, uh, you know, with the other videos, I, I used to just flash a picture of some guy's face on it and say that this was me. But uh, realistically now, joke's over, but this is what I look like. Uh, if you don't believe me, you might want to stick around and hit the... It gives you much more reason to subscribe. Um, as in other content, I'll, I do show a bit of my face, but just not these videos. Because game is hot off the press. And I am staying up all the night to try and get each and every one of these Premier League teams up online. Before I get some sleep. But enough jibber jabber, let's get on with the video. So here we are with Everton. Yep, recently fired. Uh, who did they fire? Kuman, Ronald Kuman, player I uh, recall playing for Barcelona and the and the Oranges of uh, Holland. Uh, but he couldn't. He couldn't do the. I thought it was going to be a marriage made in heaven, bringing in Everton, uh, bringing in Rooney and uh, Sigerson. But it just not gelled for him. Hopefully. Ever to make the right call and hire Sean Dyche for the role. He deserves a crack at a, a, a decent side because um, he's been stuck with him, six fingered inbreds, for far too long. Um, and he's taken them as far as they can go. And they deserve to uh, get somebody shitty and uh, get back to where they belong, which is League One. Anyway, enough about them. Back on with Everton. So let's take a quick sneak peek on the home page for Everton. So this is if you decide to take over Everton. This is your home screen. It's what it look like. Quick uh, sneak peek of your pre-season. Uh, nothing too crazy. Keep it a bit low key. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any crazy far, far fetched travel. Tranmere away, Bradford away. Nuot, I think that's French. Dundee, Krasendor. That's uh, that sounds Scandinavian to me. Um, in fact, it's Russian. So they are taking on a Russian outfit at uh, at their own gaff. But anyway, let's take a look at the meat of the matter, which is your transfer budget. I believe Kuman blew the lot on Sigurdsson. Um, so the board are only giving you twenty million. Any transfer dealings going out of uh, Everton, you will get ninety percent of that, and your current wage budget. 1.91 million. Uh, you can make some changes to this. Can you? No. You're, you're maxed out for your transfers. You could reduce it, which will give you more um, clout in the in the free transfer market. Maybe there's some bargains out there to be had. But anyway, let's just jump in and take a look at your under-18s. Uh, recently, a lot of Everton youngsters have been making the, the, the push to the senior squad, so there might be another few key players here. A young American goalkeeper, 15 years of age, 6 foot one Nicholas Hansen. He could be one for the future. Not bad statistics for a 15-year-old. Uh, already getting 110 bucks a week. Uh, who else do we have? Take a look at your most valuable player, Lewis Gibson, 16 years old, left back, can also play at centre back, um, or can he? Says he can, but obviously prefer to be on the, the, the left back. Again, very good statistics for a youngster, 16 years of age, pretty much justifying that £300,000 um, valuation. Manenza Mampala, 50, uh, 16 years old, 15K, from the Republic of Congo. Mm, he's got some raw talent in there. That be, could be worth a punt in a year or two. Maybe some uh, some lower team club will take a gamble at him. But that, that's, that's, that's the most of it. But yeah, pretty extensive under 18s. Let's take a look at your under 23s. Holy Clonkies. You've got five goalkeepers on the book, Sketlenburg being one of them. Um, Renshaw, youngster coming through. Lewis Gray, he's on the transfer list. John Joe Kenny, he's a hot topic for the future. He's wanted by a whole host of championship clubs. Um, 
Morgan Feeney made the push to the under 23s. Um, but yeah, it's, it's quite a large under 23s. Adamola Lukeman, he's a hot prospect for the future. Kind of burst on the scene last season after his move from Charlton. Um, he scored a, a, a perler against Man City, I believe. That was his one and only goal thus far for Everton. Remember that game? That was a cracker. But who is the most expensive player in the reserves? Is it Lukman? Yes, it is. Henry Onyokunkuru. Try and say that five times fast. Uh, he seems to have some work permit issues. So you might want to either loan him out or do something to rectify that. Shinari Tarasharajri. Uh, Swiss player, 22 years of age. He's on the transfer list. Um, he's got five caps to his name. Could be off to the World Cup. Tom Davis uh, seems to be ever present right now in the real deal, in the real world. Only valued at 4.3 million, but consistent. Look at those stats. That's pretty steady for a 19 year old. But yeah, not bad, not bad youth system, not bad on 23s. But let's take a look at your main squad here and get it kind of organized a bit more. Two more keepers, Pickford and Robles. Um, a lot of injuries, you guys. A lot of injuries. Barkley, Balassi, Coleman, Ramiro, Funes, Mori, and James McCarthy. All on the injury table. Dominic Calvin, Lewin. Wanted by a whole host of players, uh, teams in the championship. Excuse me, it's getting a bit late. Um, let's take a look at the most expensive player you've got. Coleman, 36.5 million. Schneidlin's in there, 31 million. Uh, Idesra Giri is in there, 30 million. Keane, Sigurdsson, Rooney's all the way down there, 22.5 million. Let's have a look at your contract snafus. Jagielka, he's getting on a little bit. If you want him for another season, you should offer him a new deal. Lennon, Barkley and Robles, also three players, all with significant value. That all could be um, sold this season to boost up your coffers for the, for the remainder of the season. Let's quick overview of the board and the club itself. And let's take a look at the competitions. So, board are hoping that you finish in the top half of the Premier League. They want you to get to the fifth round of the FA Cup. They not not bothered whatsoever with the League Cup, but they want you to get to the quarterfinal of the Euro Cup. Doable? Well, it's it's a tall order. The uh, the top half of the Prem. If you look at them now, they are struggling in the real world. Uh, let's take a look at your team report. Like I say in all of the other videos, if you want to read this, you should just pause the video, take a moment, um, and that will bring you up to speed. Squad depth looks like on the left-hand side, uh, Everton lacking in, in, in options. Nikola Valasic is considered an option, and he is only 19 years of age. But still got a bit of, bit of value to him. Obviously, Palacios out. Um, Muniz, uh, Funes Mori is also out. So that's probably an avenue where you would consider some improvement over the over the summer. That's the squad dynamics looking pretty decent. Uh, you know, not, no two, no, not not major concerns. Hierarchy. These are the players you would consider for the captain's armband. Jagielka currently has it. Uh, Rooney and Baines also some options and then should those three players either retire or move on you've got this cluster of uh, of nine players that could be the future captain of Everton uh, your core social group big bunch of players here these guys are the ones you'll be looking at to uh, become mentors for some of the youngsters as for your happiness um, yeah a bit, there's a lot of yellow and very light green so that that, that means average um, so room for improvement room for someone to come in and take over the the reins and get them looking up the table um, instead of being stuck at the bottom
But anyway, that's pretty much all I have for you. If there's something I've missed, please leave a comment in the section below. I plan to do each and every Premier League game, uh, sorry, each and every Premier League team over the next few days. However, if there's a team out there somewhere in the world that you want me to do an overview, it could be a Norwegian team, it could be a Far Eastern team, or it could be uh, a, a team lower in the division, lower, lower in the English leagues. Just let me know and I will try and smash out a video for you because it only takes just a couple of minutes. Um, and after the craziness of the beta and the actual FM18 release calms down, I do plan to do some game saves. So make sure you stick around and check back as I uh, as I got some cracking storylines in the pipeline. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Check back for more FM content over the next few days. As for my Rovers fans, fear not. Blackburn Rovers content will always be my number one. So don't you go anywhere. Anyway, let's head back into the dugout for some more FM action.